Hey guys, welcome to what I think is the first tutorial on how to make a scripted jewel in EDO Pro. I, I, I looked it up on YouTube and I couldn't find any, so I just decided to make my own. So let's say you wanted to make a scripted duel, and we'll just use like Yugi versus Kaiba as an example. So what you want to do, first of all, let's make an opening hand for these two. Uh, we'll give we'll give Yugi something simple like uh, Burfamet in his opening hand. We'll put this in his extra deck too. And uh, let's just give him like all three materials in his opening hand. Polymerization. How do you spell gazelle again? Gazelle. Gazelle. That's in his opening hand. And you know what I haven't given him yet? Let's give him like the five Karibo brothers. Right? And we'll just put these in his side deck for later. So that I don't have to search for them all later put those in that's all of them we'll just put curry born in his opening hand too why not that's a i haven't used that in a scripted duel yet and we'll put five star twilight so you can kind of see like the opening play here he activates polymerization summons chimera and when chimera when chimera gets destroyed he can summon burfamet back from his graveyard and then use five star twilight to summon all of his all of his guys so that that's how you can like craft an opening hand right let's give kaiba an opening hand what does he have uh i mean he obviously has all three of his blue eyes i like this artwork personally the one from the from the movie uh let's just give him like neo blue eyes regular blue eyes and alternative blue eyes just in his extra deck right off the bat uh how, how does he get I, I want him to like open up with this right just like because you know it's kaiba he starts off so strong uh he probably has polymerization in his hand and what else does he have he can have a blue eyes in his opening hand sure uh, let's give him White Stone of Legend. So that if he gets rid of that, he can add another Blue Eyes. And then we'll give him like something weird like Soggy. And uh, Kaiser Glider. But like the regular one. <laughs> no reason, just like, just let him fill out his opening hand. If we have Kaiba go second, he'll have a draw phase, so... We can give him something like Cards of Consonants. So he can draw two and then have White Stone search out a Blue Eyes. So what, what would he draw from Cards of Consonants? He, what, uh, what, what does he draw? He draws... Let's give him Silent Doom and another one of his blue eyes. And then Whitestone lets him get the other blue eyes, right? So we'll just save that. Uh, so these are the, the way you see these ordered, this is how they're going to be ordered uh, when you go into the scripted duel. So these first five cards, they're automatically the opening hand. Then he draws this card, then he draws this card, then he draws this card, then he adds this card, right? And that's that's basically how you script it out. But you also have to think about how the moves are going to work. I like to make a Word document, right? So let's just say, like, turn one, Yugi. Uh, Yugi activates... Polymerization. F fusing. Gazelle. And. Burfum. That's probably how you spell it. To. 
fusion summon chimera we'll just put like it has 2100 attack and then yugi ends his turn turn to kaiba kaiba draws cards of Khan. You, you can just like shorten this however you want. Just it, This is just to keep track of how the duel goes. You don't even need, really need the document if you don't want to have it. So that's how you do it. Uh, once Kaiba has all three of his blue eyes, he can summon uh, his Neo blue eyes with polymerization. And then this thing can just attack three times. The document is good for, like, keeping track of life points, so let's just say, uh, Neo attacks Chimera. And then Yugi would take, like, what is that, 2400 damage? So if you have him have, like, 8000 life points, he goes down 2400, so he's at 5600. Then Neo would attack the Burfamet. And then Neo attacks Yugi directly with its effect. And then Yugi goes down to like from 5600 to like 1100. Great star for Kaiba. Uh, but now, it goes over to Yugi's turn. Except Yugi has Curry Born, so he can discard that to get back his Burfaman. See? He had a contingency plan the whole time. And on his next turn, we need to think about like how Yugi's going to deal with that, right? So, for Yugi's draw phase... Like, what's a card that he can just use right away? Well, you know he's going to have 5-star Twilight, right? So, like, he'll summon, like, the five Karibo brothers. There they all are. Uh, and you can actually see some of these have, like, some pretty interesting effects. Uh, most of them are, like, when they get destroyed. Uh, one of these actually has... Yeah, Curry Boo has the effect, if you discard a trap, you can have one of your opponent's monsters uh, lose 1,500 attack. That would drop his blue eyes to 3,000. And Curry, Curry Babylon, which you can summon with one of these as effects. Yeah, this one, Curry Ba. And Curry Babylon gains 300 attack for every Karibo in the grave. And you might notice he has the five Karibo brothers, all treated as Karibo, plus Curry Born, that's plus 1800, that puts him at 3300. So all we need is a trap for Yugi to draw. What's a trap that he can, that he can discard? We can give him Magician Navigation, because that's a trap that works in the graveyard. We'll put that right here so he can draw it. Otherwise he would just draw the Karibo and that doesn't help him. Curry Babylon would proceed to destroy his uh, his blue eyes. Now, it goes over to Kaiba's turn. What does Kaiba do? He just lost his blue eyes. But he does have a few cards in his hand. He has Sagi the Dark Clown, Kaiser Glider, and Silent Doom still in his hand. What, what does he draw here? Let's give him Burst Breath of Destruction. Or Burst Dream of Destruction. The, uh, the blue eyes spell. So now he can use Silent Doom to bring back a Blue Eyes, use the spell card to destroy Curry Babylon, then tribute the Blue Eyes for Kaiser Glider and attack directly. Seems like you, he's about to lose, right? But remember, Curry Born's still in his graveyard. He can banish it to summon the five Karibo brothers again to protect his life points. And then what, what does Yugi have in his next turn? We'll give him, like, I don't know, Obelisk. <laughs> Be 
because I don't have him use the god cards enough. <laughs> Back, this thing can't be targeted. Does this just yeah, Kaiser Glider's effect to return a card in a hand uh, wouldn't work because Obelisk can't be targeted. Uh, yeah, neither player can target this card with card effects. So there you go, we have like an interesting duel already, right? So let's just pretend like that's the end of the duel, right? Let's just fill out the rest of this deck so that it looks like Yugi has a 40 card deck. I just like to put in like a bunch of like random vanillas. It doesn't matter what you put in, it just has to look like a full deck. And we'll do the same thing for Kaiba, except we can't give him any of the blue eyes because he actually has the blue eyes in his deck. So we'll just fill this out. So now that you have your duel set up, uh, we'll just have Yugi's deck right there. Go into the server, uh, name your character, your character's name, and then host a duel with a password. Very important, have don't shuffle tech in there. We don't want it to be a f best of five either. Uh, have the rule set be whatever you want. You can have it like master rule one. I'm just going to use the current format. Uh, you don't really need these two on there if you don't want to. Unless there's like banned cards. You could also just like change the, the forbidden list here. Very important. Don't shuffle deck and have some sort of password. You can have it be whatever you want. Like was. And then you say okay. Then you go over to another tab and then Kaiba can go in here, search for it, show locked rooms, and here's Yugi. And then just type in that password, was, and now Kaiba's in there. So Kaiba has his deck and we'll have Yugi have his deck and then we can play out that duel. So Yugi's going to have... Yugi needs to go first, so we'll just have him win the rock, paper, scissors. That part doesn't really matter, as long as he goes first. So because we didn't have don't shuffle deck, the opening hand we gave him at the beginning is now his opening hand here, so we can just play that out. So we'll just put that right there, and that's the end of his turn. Now Kaiba can go. You just really need to just play this out. It is actually pretty important that you like try to play this out like even when you're not done so that you can see like if you messed anything up. Trust me, you don't want to like go like into a 20 turn duel only to find out that you messed something up on turn 2. That has happened to me before, and it sucks. Because, like, scripted duels are, like, are set up in such a way that when you screw something up once, it messes up the entire rest of the duel. So, he's just gonna attack a bunch of times. We're just showing how Kaiba doesn't mess around. He's already almost won. That Burfamet saved his life. We'll end his turn, but on the end phase, or at end of the battle phase, Curry Born will bring back that Burfamet that was destroyed. Now it's Yugi's turn. And five star Twilight. We'll just get all the Curry bruh brothers out on the field. We'll put them in attack mode. They're ready for battle. There you go. Uh, and which one's the one that... It was Curry Boo, right? So you discard this trap. Neo loses life points. And... Which one? This is the Curry Babylon one. So you sacrifice all of these and get Curry Babylon.
and then go into battle. Oh, that's a good point. So, Curry Babylon has the effect, uh, during the battle phase, you can just have him return to the hand in order to summon the five Karibo brothers back from the graveyard. And they're all in attack position. And we just have Yugi attack directly. You do kind of have to keep in like those quick effects in mind. Because I... Like, it's easy to forget some of these because, like, who remembers discarding a trap for Curry Boo's effect? Did it just freeze? There it is. Uh, then attack. And attack. It just feels like a very, like, Yugi thing. Like, Kaiba summons this giant dragon and Yugi counters it with a bunch of Karibos. And now, they're just there. Now, Kaiba's not an idiot. He knows that one of these Karibos must have an effect to protect Yugi's life points. So he's just gonna activate Silent Doom to bring back a Blue Eyes. And then just destroy all of them. Just mass destruction. Of course, Blue Eyes can't attack, right? But that's why we sacrifice Blue Eyes for Kaiser Glider. And that can attack. And then Curryborn brings all of the Karibo brothers back. And Kaiba's just going to destroy one of them. He probably wants to get rid of Curry Boo. Because that's the one that lowers attack. Uh, there is one thing. Uh, Curry B can add a spell card. We can probably have some sort of effect apply for that. But at the moment we don't really... We could just ignore that. For now. But it's something to keep in mind. Like, Yugi probably has like some effect... Like, some card he can add there. Like, he, he can even just add, like, Multiply or something. So, let's sacrifice some Karibos. We'll get rid of this one. Uh, we don't need this one. And... This one can bring back another Karibo from the deck. You know, if you have him, you have one. So, we'll sacrifice those three for Obelisk. And then just attack Kaiser Glider. Kaiser Glider activates, and he can't target Obelisk, so I'll just return Curry Bot to the, to the hand. And... And that's good. We'll just pretend that Kaiba just lost that duel. Uh, and just save the replay. And then you can go back to the replay. Ignore all of these other ones. Where's the recent one that I just did? This one. And then you can just watch that back. You can have it be from, like, Kaiba's perspective if you want. We'll have it from Yugi's. Uh, once you see how the duel plays out, all you really have to do now is record it with whatever video recording software you have. I have Bandicam, so... That's how, that's how I do it. And... That's pretty much it. Once you have this duel play out, that's pretty much it.
There you go. Now again, you might see in hindsight that there is something that you could probably do to make the duel work. So we'll just go back to Yuki's deck. Remember how this one allowed you to like summon to add a spell or trap that had Karibo in it, right? So maybe maybe we just type in Karibo and see what we can add. Uh, he has multiply. We could also give him detonate. You, you don't have to like be strictly uh, you don't have to like strictly adhere to the uh, to the Yu-Gi-Oh anime. Hell, we could actually like have him add multiply with that effect and then when he sacrifices like three of the Karibos he can leave regular Karibo to, and then summon Obelisk then multiply in order to have Obelisk have materials to use as effect and destroy all the monsters on Kaiba's field. It's just something to consider. And uh, Kuriba can actually summon another Kuribo from the deck when a Kuribo is destroyed. So what if we had him summon like clear Kuribo? That way when it that way you can use its graveyard effect later. So you just gotta keep that stuff in consideration uh, when you're writing your duel. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Just whenever you're, whenever you finish it, just like record the replay. And then that's it, you're done. So, uh, thanks for watching, uh, and I look forward to seeing how, how you make your duels. Later.